While the wildly popular V.C. Andrews book series comes to the small screen as an epic five movie event set in the world of the wealthy, beautiful, and troubled Castile family. Yeah, that includes the estranged grandmother Jillian, played by Kelly Rutherford, who has many secrets of her own. Take a look. And you, young lady, close that gaping maw. What do you want to do, catch flies? No. No, I'm just so excited to finally meet you, Grandma. Oh, good heavens. No. Titles, please. I'm really not nearly old enough to be your grandmother, am I? Well, no, but you are. When I bore your mother into this world, I was far, far too young. Maids, transform this ragamuffin into something suitable to our good company. And Kelly is here with us now. And Kelly, all I can say is welcome and girl. <laughs> And My goodness. Grandmother. That's what I am. Oh, don't we? We'll get to that whole thing in, in a minute. Okay, so for those who haven't um, caught up with this series, the first movie aired this weekend, and that was called Heaven, which yes. was just kind of an introduction. So tell us what we need to know to catch up for this movie. I have no idea. <laughs> It's There's, a lot. It's a lot because it's all the, it's like the family tree. You need yes. a family tree. I mean, if you watch it, you'll understand it. Yeah. And that's yeah. what's kind of exciting is you realize sort of how this family is woven together and all of sort of the dysfunction and the Talk passion. About dysfunction. And the, yeah, but it's really fascinating. I think yes. she's, I mean, as a writer, I mean, since the, she wrote these things like in the 30s, yeah. I think, or at least Flowers in the Attic. So this has been, I mean, family dysfunction is nothing new. Yes, yes it is right. not. No, it is so you know. I mean, yes. <laughs> but the way this story is told and is is wonderful. It's so many layers are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So it's you know, Heaven was the first one, like Jackie just said. Then it's Dark Angel. Then it's Fallen Hearts. And so your character kind of is centered in these two episodes. Yeah, the second and third. The second and the third. Saturday and the following Saturday. But yeah. so she's evil. She's troubled. She's um, <laughs> complicated. She's. I feel like. How is She's she going to woman. involve? Evolve, <laughs> yes. yes. And how much fun is it to play somebody? It's so much that fun evil. to play someone that's coming off the rails. You know, it was like a <laughs> nice feeling. It's like, oh, good. Let's just let this all. You know, it, it was wonderful because we're all. You know. <laughs> A product of our environments, right? And she's a woman who's a product of her environment, her time, yeah. and like all this sort of crazy, these crazy things have happened in her life. But she couldn't leave Jason Priestley. She just couldn't leave him. She just couldn't. <laughs> no. Okay. The, the bottom line is she just couldn't leave Jason Priestley. Right. So yeah. She stayed through all of this and sort of how she, how she, you know, learned to function and deal with it. And she's getting older, and then she has her, you know, granddaughter there, and it's just. It's fascinating. This character was so much fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. so much fun. And Jason directed one of the. Oh, did the, he? Yeah, I think it was the second one. I think oh, it was did the he? Age. Yeah, he directed, and it's he's so good. He's yeah, so good as a director. Well, this yeah. character, Heaven, as I said, the, the first movie is called Heaven. We see we see her weave throughout all of this, and I just wonder if you've seen all of the movies and if fans will be excited because this started, the, as you mentioned, it all yeah. started as books, yeah. very popular books. Yes. Will fans be happy with how this all wraps up as a movie? I think so. I think it's beautiful. What I've seen is absolutely beautiful, mm. and I think we can all, in some way, relate to these characters. Yeah, you know. Um, we've all dealt with different things, and it's such a one. It's very rich, yeah. yeah. And it's shot beautifully. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And this is one of the last known series that V.C. Andrews wrote. I mean, like you yes. mentioned before, she wrote Flowers yeah. in the Attic, which yeah, was yeah. a very, it was very popular. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much did you know about these books or her books? I in didn't. General? I didn't. I'd heard about Flowers in the Attic, and I'd heard sort of about you know what it was about, and the same with this. But it was it was new to me, and I think it's going to be new to this next generation. Yeah, because she's fantastic. I yeah. Mean, bizarre out there but crazy crazier things happen in real life <laughs> yes, so. so true but she yeah she has a big fan base well we have to talk about pretty little liars the perfectionist <gasps> okay. because we don't want those fans get mad at us so <laughs> season one this is a spin-off season one is wrapped up and um, what can you tell us about it well we're waiting to hear so we're supposedly September but we did 10 episodes and it was a lot of fun a great new cast and um, yeah we we're filming up in Portland and now we're we'll see what happens nice. it's exciting yeah. you know yeah. It's an exciting show. So yeah, a lot going on. A lot on. of mystery. Yeah, that one, which was fun. I it know. Something different. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. All right. Well, you can catch Dark Angel this Saturday and Fallen Hearts on Saturday, August 10th, both at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Bring pen and paper. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 
that would make you. <laughs>